My name is Terence. Ari. I'm Ricardo. Hi, well, yeah, I'm uh, Mum. The, the internet knows me as Mum. My name's Nigel. I'm Kuji. Uh, I'm from the Philippines. My name is Matthew. Uh, I am Mauricio Duarte. I am a software developer. I um, have worked in uh, upper secondary education in Norway. I work in retail. Self-employed gardener. I am a decorator slash sign writer. That means I paint signs, which is like really old fashioned. I'm a chambermaid and a DJ. <laughs> well, Inside the community. Inside the community. Inside the community. I mostly do uh, UX design. I am good at uh, at explaining stuff, so I can help people with uh, with interface questions. But I'm also asking a lot of questions myself because there's a lot of stuff that I'm trying to make happen and haven't found a way to do so yet. I'm pretty active uh, in the Telegram groups and forum. I originally started as a community manager for the UbiPorts project. Before Ubuntu Touch, I would always have an Android device. I don't remember the exact device, but I was uh, using Android. 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 It was some variant of Android. Oh, I've been trying to, uh, to get away from Google, which as we all know, is pretty hard. I came from using desktop Linux. And phones were a natural progression from there. I was there when they announced. <laughs> Um, Ubuntu touch on the phone during Jono's Q&As. I was fascinated right away by the uh, the whole edge gesture thing. Uh, having the possibility of using a phone that gave me the freedom and the privacy. For me, it's a, it's a natural way to go. If I use Linux in my computer, I should be able to use uh, Linux on my phone. And that was my route. But I like it so much that I want it on all the things. And then Canonical um, dropped the project and I was really sad. And we all kind of came together and was like, okay, yeah, okay, we'll we'll, we'll continue this on and see what we can do and, and try our best to, to make sure this project continues. And I mean, it's been years, so I think we can say that was a success. When UbiPorch uh, took over the project, um, I started uh, doing actual co code contribution. So I've been trying to port um, the uh, Samsung S7. I was curious because I happened to have a OnePlus One, and it was listed as a very usable device on the on the devices page of uh, UB Ports. So I thought, let's give this a try. Let's try this out for a week or two. <laughs> Those uh, week or two have never ended. They're still ongoing. And I thought, well, um, writing things like this, writing guides and, and stuff, is uh, what I do at work. So. That gave me a chance to contribute. People were helping me and I thought maybe I could help also. I did one contribution to the settings app in um, Ubuntu Touch. That was for the Libertine settings. The package installation dialog had some bugs in it. Oh, another thing that's really, really cool. This is my Pebble. Pebble Steel works with Ubuntu Touch seamlessly. My favorite part about the UbiPorts community is that it recaptures the spirit of the early days of Ubuntu. Well, I think collaboration uh, is great. Sharing opinions uh, with other people, uh, understanding their points of view. Uh, there are so many people that are doing their best effort to, to make this happen. And There's the excitement and wonder of something new. But at the same time, I really like the way it's a sort of a collective effort to, to build something that um, everyone's uh, passionate about. It felt like you all are good people. So I wanted in on that. I, I, I just like the feeling of uh, creating ideas and then making them into uh, reality. It's something people do because they're, it's, they're interested in it. They, they're doing it in their spare time. They're um, devoting a lot of time to helping each other. And um, I just like the way that works. It's a thing that feels good, especially in times like these, doing stuff together towards what I see as a better world. It's not so bad.